Oh. I'm sweating a little. So if you're new to the channel, then you don't know that I do these big stencil projects. I have four on my channel already and they're pretty ambitious projects with multi-layered stencils with original characters that I make and I replicate it on different canvases. I usually do renditions of three or four. Today is no different. We got a new character. We got some hand stretched canvases that I stretched with my hands. It's so exciting, that's why I was groaning earlier. It, it, it's just like my favorite project to do. It's very my style. I have a lot of control over every aspect, which I like, and I've done it enough, enough now where I really have a very narrowed vision of how to execute the best possible thing um, and directly what I envisioned. So, roll the sequence. folks here's the order of operations it all starts with this character here she is in all her glory um, it starts with the iPad and this is like the stage where it's the most creative because I'm literally inventing and designing the character from nothing I mean Cyclops is our kind of my you know go-to character kind of what I'm known for not at all but I love Cyclops so this stage is all about getting the the image, the character design down, and that includes the composition of the shape of the head, the features, the eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and then also the form. I know it's gonna be a four layer stencil, so I have to have four values, and th those different shapes of values are explaining the entire form. So all these things are in consideration, and I'm extremely tedious and extremely meticulous with developing and designing this character on the iPad. Once that is complete, I got my canvases. Um, you know, this is all kind of not exciting stuff, but I have to prime them, I sand them down, I do a couple layers with some watered down gesso just to kind of protect the canvas and get them nice and smooth. And then also, obviously, cutting out the stencils. These are all kind of just part of the show. It's not the most glamorous part, but it's important to have these stencils as precise as possible within all of these shapes that I've made for myself. So, you know, use an X-Acto blade, going slow. This one, this character is quite smaller than the other ones, so the stencil um, actual work is a lot quicker, but you know, I'm doing four canvases because they're smaller. I want to do more. Just a nice little banger. That's kind of the, the preparation stage, once that's all done, we get to pick out some colors. They're primed, they're sanded, they're delicious. I love actually finessing and caressing the, the canvases. The preparation work is equally as fun as actually painting, because it, it's the setup. You want to set yourself up for success. But moving on to the next stage, color stage. I'm fired up right now about this. I'm no color expert, but I've been around the block a little enough to know about color and what I want to do. And it's not just picking random colors, green and blue and throwing them light to dark. There's more going on. I'm going to use these academic words like value, saturation, hue, chroma, all of these things. There's a lot of, you know, technical things going on to end up with these colors in this order. So I have four colors. I got four canvases. Four hues, green, orangish, violetish, pink, blue. I got a four layer system, which means each stencil will need a separate value from light to dark. We got the lightest value, second lightest, third midtone dark, fourth darkest from light to dark. The value explains the form. Now, there's something else going on here that's a little hard to see and you might not understand it, but if you look at this line right here it's actually the most saturated it has the highest chroma of all of these we're not talking about the value it still goes consistent from light to dark but we're talking about the intensity of the hue the saturation it's the highest in this one because these cans will be as the background 
of the canvas as well as one of the layers of the face. And that is to make the canvas extra poppy, to really you know, bring people's eye in with the most intense color. Cause like these are pretty dull right here. If you can look, you know, they're still bright-ish, but they're not as bright as this line. I think you can see it in the camera. I can see it pretty well. It's subtle, but that's what's going on. So there's a lot of things to consider in this beautiful alchemy of this thing we call color and I love it. If you wanna get better at color and color theory, you know, I always try to. Oil painting is the best way to mix colors, get familiar. But you know, every opportunity I have using color, it's an opportunity to improve, to, you know, experiment and use different things and just get weird. And so I thought I'd share that. And if you can't tell, I'm fired up about the color. Honestly, I thought that was a pretty good explanation. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. And I just love it and it's a very exciting stage and we're about to start painting and it's so hot. I gotta open the windows, I have to wear a respirator and it's just all part of the game, part of the battle, part of the puzzle. Let's begin. So I thought I'd do the last stencil of this whole Cyclops project with you in real time. So first, get the stencil. We gotta line her up right there. I got the paint. Do a little test to make sure it's coming out okay. And I go slowly. I don't go close. I go far so it's dusty and not evasive to the stencil. Um, and you know there's parts in the stencil that um, like are more flappy than others. You see how that flaps? So that's where you go extra slow. These up here are pretty solid. So, you know, just trying to be a sniper. Just getting a nice clean fill throughout. Sometimes there's some dust. Nothing too crazy, just want it even. You don't want it clotting up like dripped, you know, like that's no good if you can see that. You want it dusty. And then that's good. Oh! The stencil portion is complete. Quick break for the beautiful sunset. If you like sunsets and you like this stencil project, consider liking the video. You know how it goes. Helps out the channel. Helps me grow. But the sunset. Had to stop and just take that in real quick. But what we're gonna start next is the outline of all the stencils. So let's keep on trudging. So I spent like all day yesterday, all night, finishing the acrylic outline of these gorgeous puppies. And they're all outlined, they're all sprayed. And I'm gonna spend the whole day today doing the same thing. I'm adding 
a lighter value and a darker value it's for a total of six total values different shapes of those values to make the form to explain the form close to white not exactly white and close to the outline color um, but not exactly so a darkest blue you know a dark orange brown and then a really light really light so that's the plan and then we'll wrap them up I'm here late night again and another beautiful sunset oh oh wow okay so let's update fans on so I've done one two three with the dual outline um, it's hard to tell but all the white and then the dark they take a really long time like about an hour and a half per canvas that's why I've been here all day I got one left I got the desert storm as I call kind of like the brownish golden yellow and uh, we're gonna bang this out and then we're gonna be finished and my back will need to be cracked because I'm just haunching over but it's exciting this is probably the cleanest work I've done um, it's pretty ambitious in terms of detail let's just finish it up We're all finished. Wow, this was a long, long process. This is the fifth stencil project I've done in my life and on this channel and throughout all of these projects, I've kind of developed my own process. And as long as I kind of be diligent and stick to the process and don't cut any corners and be patient, you know, the, the rate of success seems to be higher. And I think these stencils came out great. You know, I think it's the cleanest work to date that I've done in terms of detail. You know, they were smaller stencils compared to the other ones I've done. And it allowed me to really get in there with a paintbrush and some acrylic paint to really flush out these details. These projects I do, I kind of try to hold myself to the highest standard I can and even push myself harder than the last one to slowly level up. And then every project you do, you know, moving forwards is just at that level standard. And if you kind of slowly nudge yourself up, you can really, I think, produce some awesome stuff and really push yourself. And that's kind of all it is for me. You know, I love these things. I love that they're small, 17 and a half inches. And we got four of them, the beautiful colors. It was just an awesome time. I'm super pumped. And we're gonna do a bunch more of these. You know, we're not stopping here. I have some really ambitious stencil projects planned, really large pieces. You know, I don't know what, what it's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy, but you should stay tuned. If you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments. I'd love to answer them or DM me on Instagram. You can find some more stuff there. That's all I got. Some beautiful Cyclops characters from yours truly. I had a fun time editing and filming this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you in the next video.